Well, some great video there in your force of nature, but we have active weather here at home as well. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm Chrissy Van in for Gary Archibald. And as you can see on the radar, we're tracking a line of storms moving through, bringing heavy downpours right along a cold front that has been making its way. Taking a closer look in areas through Barrie, heading up toward the Muskoka region, you can see that's where we're seeing some of those heavier yellows and darker reds, which of course mean those heavy downpours. As a result, we have a severe thunderstorm watch that is in place. It extends through southwestern Ontario right up toward Barrie and heading in toward that Muskoka region. With these storms, heavy downpours are going to be your biggest threat, which could bring localized flooding. As a result, in the north, you can see a rainfall warning in place as well through areas in eastern Ontario extending through Quebec, where some areas you could see upwards of 45 to 60 plus millimeters of rain and again, locally higher amounts with those thunderstorms. We're going to head toward Atlantic Canada now and within southern Ontario. Checking out your temperatures for Wednesday, you can see Charlottetown 24, Halifax 21, St. John's still on the cooler side at 17. Your seasonal normal is 21. So unfortunately, it's been mild sweater weather there. As for the conditions in regards to rainfall, the same system is going to be tracking its way into the Maritimes. Arrival time looking like Wednesday overnight lingering through Thursday through Friday, and then it will become a Newfoundland story as you travel into the latter half of the weekend. We head now from the east to the west, where you can see in the BC interior, we do have a severe thunderstorm watch through Merritt, Kelowna, Princeton. With these storms, should they pop up, wind gusts could get up to 70 kilometers per hour, as well as heavy downpours. And we do have the risk of storms developing through the foothills, heading up through parts of northern BC. We can't rule out with these storms, seeing an isolated severe cell develop as well. So be sure to take along your weather network app for the link. A great area to visit in the summer time. Beautiful beach there along the shores of Lake Erie. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm Chrissy Van in for Gary Archibald. And while well, you can see on the radar here, exactly active weather has certainly been prominent. I do want to mention that we do have some new additions to the severe thunderstorm warning. Shelburne, Innisville, Midland, Port Carling are the latest. And if you are included in a warned area, do get yourself indoors to safety. We do have the severe thunderstorm watches as well, extending through southwestern Ontario, heading up toward cottage country. And of course, we know with a watch, that means that the ingredients are there for storms to produce, but a warning means imminent or occurring. And actually, looking at these rainfall warnings as well that we have up, some areas that have been seeing these storms move through, I was speaking with Tyler, our meteorologist, and they've seen around 40 to 50 millimeters of rain per hour. So very significant downpours have already been occurring. Those are the initial estimates. As you can see in northern Ontario as well, through parts of eastern Ontario into Quebec, Environment Canada has issued a rainfall warning. You can see in northern Ontario, it's spinning along with that low pressure system and rainfall totals through Thursday in some areas could be getting up to 60 millimeters, but again, locally higher amounts of rain in those thunderstorms. Looking through this afternoon and evening in toward the west, we do have the risk of storms as well. You can see through the foothills of BC heading up toward the north. We can't rule out an isolated severe cell developing. And some good news I do want to point out is that earlier we did have a severe thunderstorm watch in through the BC interior. That has been dropped. So out of the woods for now. Taking a look at this evening and heading into the next couple days, you can see we do have this developing low and that's what's causing that instability through the foothills of Alberta in through the BC interior. And it also brings us this. You can see through your Wednesday risk of storms extends through BC into Alberta and as well edging into Saskatchewan. And I do want to mention that we can't rule out isolated severe storms developing. So you know what you have to do. You have to keep it right here at the Weather Network for the latest watches and warnings. Of course, you can... Well, we travel now from your force of nature to the active weather here at home. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm Chrissy Van in for Gary Archibald, and we're going to start things off in Ontario. And that's because look at this, a big juicy swath of rain, really a summer soaker has been the reality for many today, as well with storms moving through. We've seen quite a bit of lightning strikes through parts of Northern Ontario, as well as in the Southwest. We'll take a look at Barrie from earlier today. And well, at 50 millimeters of 
rain in one hour. And if you are seeing your location included in one of those severe thunderstorm warnings, that could be your reality as well. We do have a widespread watch in place through southwestern Ontario up toward cottage country. And we've been tracking actually a really juicy band as well heading in through the shores of Georgian Bay. Of course, rain, a big story for northern Ontario as well. You can see the spin of that low pressure system and those yellows, of course, the heavier bands of rain. And as a result, Environment Canada has issued rainfall warnings in the north as well through parts of eastern Ontario extending out toward Quebec. Rainfall totals could get upwards of 60 millimeters plus and again locally higher amounts in those thunderstorms so flash flooding certainly a concern. Now in the BC interior earlier today we did have a severe thunderstorm watch in place. Right now we're just seeing a couple bands of rain moving through overall relatively scattered but we do have the risk of storms developing so you can see through this afternoon into the evening through the foothills of Alberta and extending up toward the north we can't rule out an isolated severe cell popping up as well. So it's really one of those days where you want to keep a very close eye on your forecast and again for tomorrow as there's going to be a more widespread risk. We head to Charlottetown. You see those back to school commercials nonstop now. So it's really where you need to savor every moment. The good news for the Maritimes overall relatively dry this evening in through Newfoundland, St. John's, the Avalon Peninsula. You are seeing a little bit of leftover drizzle. But what you have to watch out for is what on Ontario is experiencing right now. This system will continue to make its way. So Wednesday overnight into Thursday, that's where the Maritimes, you will be seeing some more of that rain arrive continuing into Friday. And that becomes a story for Newfoundland as you head into the latter half of the weekend. So St. John's, you can see cloudy skies for Wednesday and then overall not too bad until you reach Sunday. Keep it right here at the weather day. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm Chrissy Van in for Gary Archibald. And this is what we're looking at on the radar. You can see still these bands of rain heading up as as well, some heavier bands of rain heading up through cottage country. It's on this northeastward track. And some initial estimates with these storms moving through, if you're in a severe thunderstorm watch or warned area, some areas have seen around 50 millimeters of rain per hour. You can see the watch extending through southwestern Ontario, heading up into cottage country. And I know terrible news for some of you that have decided to take advantage of this week for your summer holidays in that area. Rainfall warnings as well in place for parts of northern Ontario as well in eastern Ontario and heading out toward Quebec. So overall some areas could see 60 plus millimeters of rain. We have this low pressure system spinning. You can see the spin there through the north and again remember the yellows and the reds those are the heavier downpours. This is look at the additional rainfall forecast through Thursday. So in those areas I was just showing you to the north, 30 to 45 millimeters and heading in toward Quebec, 45 to 60 plus. And unfortunately, with those locally higher amounts in thunderstorms, we travel now as we make our way toward the eastern parts of the country. Definitely, I know many of you are talking about slowly but surely becoming numbered. So you have days like that. Get out and enjoy. Wednesday looking like a good one. 24 in Charlottetown, 21 in Halifax, 17 in St. John. So still on the cooler side for you. Overall in the Maritimes, things should stay dry for your Wednesday. But then we have this making its way in and it's going to make itself known. Unfortunately, rain through the overnight Wednesday, through Thursday into Friday. And then that becomes a story for Newfoundland as you head into the weekend. Heading to the west now where there is a severe thunderstorm risk extending through the foothills of Alberta and up to the north and we can't rule out an isolated severe storm developing. So of course, you know what to do. Thanks so much, Jacqueline, for that look at force of nature extended and exactly that we have been seeing the risk of thunderstorms as well as the storms develop. I'm Chrissy Van in for Gary Archibald. And as you can see on the radar, we have the heaviest bands of rain making their way up through cottage country. Initial estimates as these storms have been moving through in some areas, 50 millimeters of rain an hour. So heavy downpours, damaging winds, as well as some decent sized hail, also a threat as these storms develop. We have the severe thunderstorm watch in place extending through parts of southwestern Ontario right up through that cottage country region and as a result as well of this low pressure system that's been lingering around Environment Canada has also also issued rainfall warnings so you can see in the north as well through parts of eastern Ontario out toward Quebec so some areas could see 60 plus millimeters of rain higher amounts in thunderstorms looking at your evening the system continues to track its way through and then we're going to slowly in the over 
overnight, see it move out of the GTA. But unfortunately, the north is still seeing that rain stick around. So coming up, we'll talk more on these rainfall totals that we could be seeing as well. More active weather coverage. Visit our... Some incredible footage there in your force of nature. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm Chrissy Van in for Gary Archibald. As you can see, a bulk of the weather that we're watching right now is in the east. We have this low pressure system and a cold front that's been swinging through southern Ontario today and bringing a lot of rain. We'll take a look at Ottawa on. You can see that we have been experiencing these heavy bands, mainly heading up through Barrie into cottage country. And of course, those reds and yellows, that's where you're seeing the heaviest downpours. Now, at the bottom of your screen, you can see some of you are still under a severe thunderstorm warning. I got a tweet from Donna asking that about rotation and worried about tornadoes. I just want to emphasize there have been no tornado watches or warnings. Your biggest threats, though, are going to be the heavy downpours, the risk of seeing some hail, as well as some damaging wind gusts. As well as severe thunderstorm watch is still in place through southwestern Ontario, heading up to the north. So again, we know with a watch, it means the ingredients are there for these storms developing. With a warning, it means imminent or occurring. So regardless, if you are in a warned area, you should be getting yourself safely indoors. Rainfall has been a very big story with the system. So you can see in the north and in through parts of eastern Ontario over through Quebec, Environment Canada has actually issued a rainfall warning. You can look at the swath of rain that's been soaking northern Ontario. Now, there are some darker greens, but luckily we're not seeing those heavy bands of yellow or red, but still it's been rather persistent. As a result, you can see 30 to 45 millimeters plus in the north, upwards of 60 millimeters heading toward the east. And of course, we know locally higher amounts in thunderstorms. I do want to mention our meteorologist Tyler said latest estimates in some of these estimates in some of these storms have been 50 millimeters of rain an hour. Taking a look further east, you can see in Atlantic Canada Wednesday looking pleasant, 24 in Charlottetown, 21 in Halifax, cooler at 17 in St. John's and the same system affecting Ontario that's going to be heading for you toward midweek. So keep it here for the latest watches and warnings. Take along your mobile app if heading out the door. We'll have more active weather coverage coming up. Well, we continue to see active weather move through Ontario. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm Chrissy Van in for Gary Archibald. As you can see, extending through cottage country, that's where we're seeing some very heavy yellows and reds. So, of course, some heavy downpours associated with these storms. We have a severe thunderstorm watch in place for a fairly widespread area through parts of Kitchener heading up into cottage country. Do you want to mention some warnings as well? Bracebridge, Gravenhurst, Port Carling heading through Huntsville, Innisville, Barrie. Biggest risks of seeing high rainfall amounts, 50 millimeters of rain an hour in some of these systems, as well as damaging winds and hail, certainly a threat. A rainfall warning has been issued for parts of northern Ontario, as well as eastern Ontario, heading into Quebec. So with these systems, you can see we've had this low pressure system lingering around. You can see the spin there, and that's what's brought those very high rainfall amounts. We are dealing with these downpours. It can certainly change the situation out there rather quickly. I was mentioning the rainfall warnings, and as you can see, up to the north, 30 to 45 millimeters of rain possible, and heading toward the east, some areas getting 60 millimeters plus, locally higher amounts in thunderstorms. So certainly localized flooding, a concern with these systems. Heading to the west, you can see through the afternoon and evening, we do have the risk of storms through the foothills, heading in through parts of BC. We can't rule out seeing an isolated severe cell develop. So certainly, if you you're heading out the door, take along that Weather Network app for those latest watches and warnings. You can see here through the evening, it's this low that's developed that's caused that instability. And as we head through Wednesday as well, we're going to be looking at that thunderstorm risk. In fact, for a more widespread area, you can see extending through parts of the BC interior into Alberta and in through parts of Saskatchewan as well. And again, can't rule out seeing an isolated severe cell. So overall, you can see through your Wednesday into Atlantic Canada, we have this low pressure system on your doorstep. But take a look at Charlottetown to school ads become more frequent and you certainly want to enjoy as much of summer as you can. Looks like Wednesday, the best day for the Maritimes to do it because the same system that's impacting Ontario today, that's heading for you. So through Wednesday overnight into Thursday, that is when the rain's going to be making its arrival. You can see here in Halifax, rain Thursday, 21 degrees, feeling like 27, and then things are drying out for you as you head throughout the rest of your week. Thunderstorms that have been moving through. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm Chrissy Van in for Gary Archibald. I do want to mention that Innisville, a really 
Australia, Deep River, your severe thunderstorm warnings have been ended. But as you can see on the radar here, those deep yellows and reds indicating heavy downpours as well as those storms. Still severe thunderstorm warnings in place for Shelburne, Barrie, Midland, Port Carling, Bracebridge, Huntsville, heading through western Algonquin Park. If you look at the bottom of your screen, I know we were having problems with the ticker there earlier, but if you are included in that area, be sure that you're safely indoors. If you know someone heading out, do let them know that a storm is imminent or occurring. And again, the rainfall has been quite substantial with these. Some areas have already reported estimates around 75 millimeters of rain or more. Now, you can see severe thunderstorm watches in place as well. So that means the ingredients still lingering for these storms to generate. And we also have rainfall warnings in place. Environment Canada has issued these. You can see in the north as well, parts of eastern Ontario into Quebec. So overall, you can see in the north looking at 30 to 45 millimeters of rain, 45 to 60 plus as you head to the east. But the main ingredient, they can be locally higher in thunderstorms. And as evidence of what I've been reading here from Environment Canada, that has certainly been the case. So be particularly careful if you're heading out on the roads because with those heavy downpours, of course, you can have the local localized ponding on the roads and that's never a nice situation. So we're traveling across and you can see this is everything we're seeing in the east but we're making our way to the western Canada story now and we do have some through this afternoon into the evening some risk of storms through the foothills of Alberta heading north into BC. So far no warnings or watches have been issued but we definitely have the ingredients in the atmosphere that these storms could develop and through Wednesday that becomes more widespread in through the BC interior Alberta as well through parts of Saskatchewan. Heading into BC of course the humid X values have been rather high over the last few days and you can see in Abbotsford through Wednesday afternoon feeling like 31 Grand Prairie feeling like 35 coming up we'll continue that was force of nature extended right now we're tracking a line of storms moving through Ontario on a slow going northeastern track thanks so much for joining me I'm Chrissy Van in for Gary Archibald now as you can see the severe thunderstorm watches in southwestern Ontario have dropped but Kitchener heading up toward Halliburton they remain a watch of course means the ingredients are there for storm developing but we do have severe thunderstorm warnings in place the newest additions Orangeville Grand Valley Southern Dufferin County now the biggest threat with this system as they move through is this what you're seeing those yellows and reds and that indicates heavy downpours in some areas there have been reports of 75 millimeters of rain that have fallen damaging winds hail and of course lightning also a threat to your safety so if you are in a severe thunderstorm warned area get yourself indoors immediately Looking through this evening, we're going to continue to see this system on that northeastward track pushing out of the GTA through Wednesday. We're going to be seeing some clearing. So that's certainly good news because unfortunately you can see in the north 30 to 45 millimeters of rain. There could be some cleanup coming up, continuing active weather coverage. That was force of nature extended, and we're certainly seeing our own force of nature move through Ontario. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm Chrissy Van in for Gary Archibald. Now, as you can see on the radar here, we're still seeing this swath of rain and thunderstorms as well moving through parts of Ontario. You can see heading up past Barrie, northeast in toward cottage country. We're seeing those brighter yellows and reds, which do indicate the heavier rainfall. We have severe thunderstorm watches in place. You can see extending through Kitchener up toward the Halliburton region and I do want to mention severe thunderstorm warnings are in place as well so if you're seeing your location included at the bottom of the screen we have areas like Orangeville, Shelburne, Barrie, Midland, Port Carling, Bracebridge, Huntsville and through western Algonquin Park as well your biggest threats with these systems as they move through are going to be heavy downpours like this that you're seeing earlier today in Aurelia, Ontario so if you are experiencing the imminent weather get yourself to safety if you know someone that is out enjoying their day give them a call and advise them of the conditions headed their way now you can see rainfall warnings have been issued by environment canada through the north and parts of eastern ontario and again that's because the system has been a slow mover lingering for some time so areas getting 45 to 60 millimeters plus but again those amounts can be locally higher in thunderstorms so really be careful if you're heading out on the roads this evening i definitely would advise if you are in the warned areas just kick 
back and stay home. Now we're going to make our way. These are the storms through Ontario that we're passing and we're tracking our way to the west where we do have the risk of storms developing through the afternoon into the evening for the foothills of Alberta and up to the north and BC. We can't rule out an isolated severe cell developing. So keep it right here at the Weather Network. Well, some active weather there in your force of nature and certainly across the country as well. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm Chrissy Van in for Gary Archibald. Well, we're really zoning in here on the cloud tops. You can see the low pressure system swirling over Ontario and looking at Crystal Beach, Ontario earlier today. And you, I've been communicating on Twitter with some of you. I know Donna was one of those who were quite scared. I mean, when you're seeing these systems move through, it certainly is a scary situation. Some good news though, although there are severe thunderstorm warnings in place, definitely get yourself to safety if you are in a warned area. There is, it is looking like these systems are weakening. So we're on the right track. Still severe thunderstorm watches though as you head through Kitchener heading up toward Halliburton and with these storms it's the rain that has been the big weather maker. Look at this heading up Barry North and through Cottage Country we are still seeing the yellows a little bit of the reds lingering as well and that's showing you the heavier downpours in fact here in the warning it does state that some areas indicate that 75 millimeters of rain had already fallen as these storms were moving through it looked at about 50 millimeters of rain an hour so you can see the good news. This system through Wednesday evening will be pushing out of the north. Some showers lingering, but overall for the GTA Wednesday, things will be clearing up. That's good news because you're dealing with this where some areas 30 to 45 millimeters of rain, 45 to 60 plus millimeters and locally higher amounts in thunderstorms. Now, we're going to travel to the west where this afternoon through this evening you can see in the foothills of Alberta heading up to BC we do have the risk of storms developing. We can't rule out an isolated severe storm popping up as well and then continuing through Wednesday you'll see that risk extend through Saskatchewan, Alberta as well through the BC interior. So if you have plans to head out tomorrow be sure to take along the Weather Network app with you. That will keep you up to date with all the latest watches and warnings on the go. It's this low pressure system here that is to blame for that instability. Well, we go from our force of nature extended to our continuing live coverage of storms as they make their way through Ontario. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm Chrissy Van in for Gary Archibald. And looking at the radar here, you can see it's these bands of heavier rains that we've been seeing come through where some areas have initially reported seeing upwards of 75 millimeters plus. Of course, the lightning has certainly been a story as well. And you can see how it headed from the southwest and has continued on that northeastward track. Looking at the latest severe thunderstorm warning. So warnings mean imminent or occurring. We have North Bay, West Nipissing, Algonquin, Barry, Aurelia, Midland, Dufferin, Innisville, Halliburton, Perry Sound, Muskoka all included in that. That is the severe thunderstorm warning. And then we do have watches in place extending Kitchener heading up toward the north. So with these storms, rain certainly the biggest threat where you could see 50 millimeters an hour, damaging winds as well as hail and of course the lightning. And I do want to mention that I was speaking with the meteorologist and he did state it looks like these are weakening. So that is good news. Rainfall warnings in place for parts of northern Ontario as well. Eastern Ontario heading in toward Quebec. And if you take a look at the radar here, you can see this low pressure system swirling. We are still seeing some areas of the yellow, which of course indicate some of the heavier rains. Looking at the cloud tops, you can see that system moving in the east. But we also have some activity starting to bubble up in the West. As a result, we do have the risk of seeing storms develop this afternoon into this evening through the foothills heading up into BC and we can't rule out the risk of an isolated severe storm popping up. As we head into Wednesday, we see that risk extend. So through Saskatchewan, Alberta and parts of the BC interior, you do have the potential and the ingredients around in the atmosphere that could produce those storms. And as you take a look at the models here, look ahead. It's this low pressure system that's making its way on up that is causing that instability for you. Looking at Calgary, you can see on Wednesday, we do have the risk of those showers and thunderstorms, but then things dry out for Thursday before the return of more unsettled weather on Friday. So unfortunately, you're in this unsettled pattern through the next few days, coming up under a severe thunderstorm warning. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm Chrissy Van in for Gary Archibald. And as you can see on the radar, as you head through Barrie and North, we're still seeing that line of reds and yellows, which indicate the heavier downpours. Inside 
some of Environment Canada's earliest reports. Some areas they're saying initial estimates 75 millimeters of rain plus have already been falling. And then as you head through southwestern Ontario, so Kitchener up toward Halliburton, we're still under a severe thunderstorm watch. But again, a large area still under a warning. So if you are included in the banner at the bottom of your screen, do get yourself to safety indoors. Biggest threats, heavy downpours, extreme downpours in some areas, as well as damaging winds, hail, and of course, lightning as well. As a result, Environment Canada has issued a rainfall warning. You can see through parts of the north, Timmins included in that. And then even Eastern Ontario, extending into Quebec, you're also under a rainfall warning where you could see 60 plus millimeters of rain locally higher in thunderstorms. To blame, of course, this low pressure system and the cold front that's been swinging through. You can still see it spinning through northern Ontario. Luckily, in through Wawa and Timmins, we have seen the yellows dissipate, but still those heavy bands of green. And as mentioned, overall in the GTA, you're looking at 15 to 30 millimeters in some areas, but with those storms that have been rolling through, I'm sure we'll be looking at some very high totals all said and done. Now we travel to the west where we do have the risk through this evening of seeing storms develop through the foothills of Alberta heading up into BC. Can't rule out an isolated severe cell and that's all because of a low that's been bubbling up from the south and that's what's causing the instability. It's going to be hanging around and as a result we do have a more widespread risk of storms through tomorrow. So you can see through parts of Saskatchewan into Alberta and BC and again we can't rule out an isolated severe. So if you have plans to get outdoors tomorrow, be sure to take along your mobile app, have it charged up, and that way you can keep up to date with the watches and warnings. We head now to the east, as you can see. Oh, just beautiful. This is the indication of summer in Nova Scotia. Today, you can see just a little bit of waves rolling in. Oh, even the sound is relaxing. So I'm a little bit envious of you who took the video there. Looking at the Maritimes, your Wednesday looking like a good day to enjoy. But now the same system that has been impacting Ontario, that's going to be a story for you Wednesday overnight in through Thursday, Friday. And then that becomes a Newfoundland story into Sunday. Coming up, we'll have more active weather coverage. On your safety needs to be top of mind. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm Chrissy Van in for Gary Archibald. And it's certainly been an active day in Ontario. You can see on the radar here, we continue to see this low pressure spin and what really triggered off all these storms is we've had a cold front that's been swinging through. As a result, there is a severe thunderstorm watch still in place through Kitchener, in through Barrie, heading up in the Halliburton region, as well some severe thunderstorm warnings. So if you're seeing your area included at the bottom of your screen, do get yourself to a safe space. Biggest threats are going to be damaging winds, hail, lightning, and heavy downpours. As you can see, as the system's been moving through, a rainfall warning has been issued for parts of the north as well in eastern Ontario, heading into Quebec, where some areas 40 to 60 millimeters plus and again, locally higher amounts in thunderstorms. I do want to mention in one of the Environment Canada reports, they stated that rough estimates of 75 millimeters plus in some areas had already been recorded. So it really shows how those thunderstorms can have quite an impact. We travel now from the east and we're going to track our way over these storms into what could develop in the west. As you can see here, we do have through the evening hours a risk of thunderstorms developing and through the foothills of Alberta extending up into BC and we can't rule out an isolated severe storm involved in that. Heading into tomorrow, that becomes a more widespread risk. You can see in Saskatchewan that included through Alberta and through parts of the BC interior. And again, with those storms, we can't rule out an isolated severe cell developing. Humid X values lingering through Wednesday. Prince George will be feeling like 32. Grand Prairie feeling like 35. Calgary feeling like 32. So if you are heading out tomorrow, make sure you keep yourself well hydrated. Coming up, we'll continue to track the system as it... Well, active weather has certainly been the main event through Ontario today. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm Chrissy Van and for Gary Archibald. As you can see, we do have rainfall warnings in place for parts of northern Ontario, including Timmins, and then through eastern Ontario heading into Quebec. Of course, with the thunderstorms that have passed through, we could be dealing with locally higher amounts, but overall 45 to 60 plus millimeters for parts of eastern Ontario. And of course, heavy rains can do this. We had to 
and unfortunately not looking like a nice situation there. We've heard reports of flooded basements heading in the Barry region and up north as well through Windsor as there were heavy rains there as well. Taking a look at the system though, it's going to continue on its northeastward track through the GTA. We will be looking at some clearing tomorrow, so certainly some good news for you. And a quick peek at the west where we do have the risk of storms developing through the foothills heading up into the northern parts of BC. More weather coverage coming up right here. Through. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm Chrissy Van in for Gary Archibald. And first, we're going to take a focus on what we've been seeing in Ontario. Taking a look at the current radar, you can see still some potent cells as you head through Barrie and north. The good news is, as it's been tracking north, we've seen those weakening. We're starting to see a little bit of the reds die down, some yellows left, so still some heavy downpours, particularly through that typical cottage country area. Severe thunderstorm watches in place, extending through Kitchener, heading up toward the north. And there are some severe thunderstorm warnings as well still in place. You can see them at the bottom of your screen. Biggest risk could be damaging winds, hail, as well as those heavy downpours. I know some of the initial reports as storms went through were 50 millimeters of rain an hour. So that's certainly significant. On top of that, we already had a rainfall warning issued for parts of northern Ontario. You can see Timmins included in that, Elliott Lake as well. And then through eastern Ontario, as these storms move through, heading into Quebec, we could be seeing those very heavy downpours, locally higher in thunderstorms, but an estimated 60 plus millimeters of rain could fall all said and done and I imagine when we see these totals come in that they will be significantly higher. Looking this afternoon through the evening as you head through the foothills of Alberta and up through BC we do have the risk of storms developing there. We cannot rule out seeing an isolated severe storm so certainly keep a very close eye on your watches and warnings and then through Saskatchewan, Alberta and in through the BC interior that risk of storms extends for you throughout the day tomorrow. So again, if you're heading out, keep your mobile app close at hand. Look at the Humidex values. You can see in Grand Prairie, 35. Calgary feeling like 32 for your Wednesday. So any outdoor plans that you have, be sure to keep yourself very hydrated because the humidity, sometimes it's easy to forget just how hot it is. Now coming up, we're going to continue tracking the system. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm Chrissy Van in for Gary Archibald. Now we are going to be watching systems to see if they bubble up in the west, but the big weather maker has been to the east in Ontario where we've had this low pressure system moving through, a cold front swinging through, and that spawned an active day with very heavy downpours as well as thunderstorms really throughout this Tuesday. Now looking through the rest of this evening, we do have the risk of storms still throughout southwestern Ontario in through parts of cottage country and we can't rule out the risk of an isolated severe cell popping up. One of the biggest threats with these storms have been the rainfall and we'll take a look now at tiny Ontario where as a result of the rainfall Environment Canada has issued rainfall warnings and you can see there are four areas in the north so Timmins included in that as well through parts of eastern Ontario into Quebec. The thing with these storms they've been very slow moving and it's been a very slow moving system and that's what's caused those very high rainfall totals. You can see 30 to 45 millimeters in the north could see upwards of 45 to 60 millimeters to the east. And we must remember locally higher amounts in those thunderstorms. So I'm sure we'll see some very impressive totals all said and done. We watched this system continue on its northeastward track. So through northern Ontario in the overnight, you can see that rain lingering around. But for the GTA, we will be looking at improvements as we head through your day tomorrow. Taking a look at the radar, we're going to make our way from the east and slowly track our way in toward the west. You can see we're passing over the storms in Ontario, but that's not the only threat for active weather. In through parts of the foothills of Alberta into through BC, we do have the risk of storms developing. Again, can't rule out an isolated severe cell, and that risk extends for your Wednesday. So you can see in through the BC interior, Alberta, and parts of Saskatchewan, you are seeing those ingredients in the atmosphere that could spark up those storms. So if you are heading out the door tomorrow, be sure to take along your Weather Network app for the latest watches and warnings. And of course, ports of flooded base Thanks so much for joining me. I'm Chrissy Van in for Gary Archibald. Now coming up in a moment, we'll talk about what's bubbling up in the West. But first, the main weather maker of the day has been this low pressure system moving through Ontario, making its northeastward track into Quebec and eventually landing into Atlantic Canada. 
Through this evening, we do have the risk of storms through southwestern Ontario heading up in toward North Bay because threats, the heavy downpours, I mean, even extreme downpours in some cases, hail and damaging winds. We do have rainfall warnings in place from this same system. You can see Elliott Lake, Timmins included in the north, and then in eastern Ontario, Ottawa, heading over to Quebec. We do have that risk of seeing upwards of 60 plus millimeters in some areas and locally higher in thunderstorms. Quite honestly, from what we've been seeing through the day today, I'm sure when we get those final totals, they're going to be quite impressive for a widespread area. This is the system to blame. You can see it continuing on that northeastward track, seeing some clearing through the GTA as you travel through your Wednesday. But again, that system kind of hanging on. So it's going to be affecting Quebec and then heading into the Maritimes through the latter in Ontario and heading into Quebec. And look at this risk of thunderstorms. You can see in the foothills of Alberta up through BC, we can't rule out an isolated severe storm developing. And that's because of this low that's been pushing up from the south and causing the instability. That's going to become more widespread as you head in through your Wednesday. So Saskatchewan, Alberta, heading in through the BC interior, you are looking at that risk of storms. Certainly can't rule out an isolated severe cell popping up. And we will be seeing Humidex values as well. You can see Prince George feeling like 32, Edmonton 34. So stay hydrated or perhaps take a dip. We head now to the East Coast, and you can see in Nova Scotia on Tuesday, some beautiful conditions, a lovely day on the water. I'm actually rather jealous of how things were looking there. But as I was mentioning, the system we've been seeing move through Ontario, that's traveling over to you. So you can see Wednesday looking like a fairly good day in the Maritimes. It's Wednesday overnight into Thursday where we see the rainfall start for you, continuing Friday and Saturday and becoming a story for Newfoundland as you make your way into Sunday. Coming up, we'll have...